Obviously we want students to develop in certain ways and, and learn certain things, but it's applying those lessons to a real world context that matters the most. And this is what the lesson and what this project is all about. Y empezamos con esta pregunta. ¿Hay conexiones o cuáles son las conexiones con los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible y los libros, verdad? ¿Y por qué? Entonces, les enseño rápidamente los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible y cuáles son las conexiones. Piensen en cuáles son las conexiones y por qué. Expliquen por qué. And as many students expressed in the lesson today, they, they connected to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And there were three main goals that they were connecting to, poverty, um, education, and reducing inequalities. Because these students, a lot of times, don't have access to books, especially in those rural communities. So they really were feeling empowered to take action and help. Each group in our class is creating a book that we are doing through Senora Damar, someone who's worked with Senora. And so she goes to these countries in, or these places in Guatemala and gives the books to the children. And kind of like how we talked in class, the books have um, the Spanish part and the English part. So they go to the children so that they can hopefully advance their understanding of English and Spanish. So it's really special. Our community partner, Guatemala Service Projects, they travel to Guatemala several times a year. And so in June, they'll be making another trip. And so the president, Jennifer DeMar, will be picking up these books from us. And she will literally take them down. And in the communities that she visits, she distributes them to classroom libraries, just, just very small community libraries. And that's where they live. We then get videos and photos back from these students who, um, as they're reading and, and interacting with the books. And one of the communities that she delivered the books to last June, they had created about six short stories and sent them back for us. So the students got to read um, short stories that, that these children in Guatemala created just for them. So la semana pasada hablamos sobre Los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible, ¿no? Los objetivos de la ONU, de UN. Y ahora vamos a comparar los impactos a los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible, ¿ok? So, lo que quiero que ustedes hagan es... Y, Ustedes deben ver los impactos de tu lista y con cuatro a seis impactos, escribe el impacto aquí y aquí escribe los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible que corresponden a este impacto. Y en tu opinión, De tu lista, ¿cuál es el impacto más grande en una comunidad? ¿Cuál es el impacto más impactante, más fuerte? Actividades recreativas afectan la salud del medio ambiente y la cultura de zona. Ah, sí, perfecto. So, las actividades recreativas afectan la salud. It's important to instill criticality in the target language to prepare them for the diploma program when they get there in 11th and 12th grade, but I also feel like it's a transferable skill that's necessary for all of their subject areas and to be a globally competent citizen of the world. The way I did it through this lesson was ensuring that students were able to experience and understand both perspectives of tourism, that there are positive impacts and that there are negative impacts. 
And they naturally came to the conclusion that there is a nuanced gray area where you can't say the positives are so important, we must have it, but you can't say the negatives are so important, we must eliminate it. They now see and understand that nuanced gray area in their own community. When they see multiple perspectives, it forces them to analyze their own perspective and that oftentimes can trigger action. And the great part was as soon as students started researching their communities, it springboarded them to action. As long as they're seeing themselves in it, as soon as they find that there is an issue or they find there is a problem, that intrinsic agency, that intrinsic motivation is gonna be there because they see themselves within it. Although there are are always going to be the negatives, like sometimes invasive species in Green Lake, or like the bad driving, trash, that kind of thing. But there always is going to be benefits, like pros and cons to it. And we need to learn to, I guess, dampen the negatives, clean up after, and like take care of our lake. If we implement these ideas, it, like tourism isn't really a bad thing anymore. It can just help the community a lot. And I think a lot of the ideas we came across, we can actually do here. I see the intersection again with the UN SDGs and students identifying and building their empathy to be able to identify with these global needs and what, what we're all working toward as, as a planet. And again, being able to take action um, to help reach these goals. Sort of the focus of this class has really been like kind of fusing both the like the learning aspect of Spanish with the service aspect of being like a global citizen. And we have done this project and we've also had a service project like in like little groups that we've been doing in different parts of the community that have like a global perspective that really allows us to see like the practical uses of Spanish instead of it just being like something that's so entrenched in academia and doesn't really have a true impact on the world. So it's it's nice to see a class actually having tangible impacts on the community around us and worldwide. And the focus of this class has uh, been changing more so to like the global focus. Um, how can we give back to the earth that's given so much to us? And we've been learning that through Spanish. And I was fortunate enough to take a class last year called Global Sustainability. And this was AP environmental science mixed with Spanish five for me. So we got to learn a lot about um, the earth and all the different kind of aspects from the SDGs back to going to elementary schools and teaching the younger kids Spanish and about curiosity or all these different types of themes and doing that all in Spanish too, just kind of connecting the two has been pretty cool to see.